Hello there, my name is Rachel Okello, a UK-based solicitor specialising in immigration, nationality and deportation law. Um, welcome to the channel, Clarity Visas. If you've not been here before, please do like and subscribe to the channel. It's been a long time since I've um, come with some videos. I know I've tried to do some shorts, so certainly go across to the short section of the channel and there's some updates there. And I'm definitely going to be trying to come back now with... Um, with some new videos, some new updates, but do follow me as well on social media because we're able to put small bursts of updates onto our TikTok, Instagram and Facebook pages at Clarity Visas. So it's always at Clarity Visas and um, you can always follow us here on YouTube and share the videos as well because the information that we give you is information that's to be shared. It may not be relevant to you on a particular moment or a particular time in your life, but it may be relevant to somebody else. So do share the content that we are giving out to you. And if you want to have a free case assessment with me, then you can go to our website, clarityvisas.com and book a free case assessment. And we can give you specific guidance in terms of your situation, because this is just meant to be general guidance and some top tips for um, in regards to UK immigration law. Today, I just want to jump on very, very quickly to let you know of some up-to-date Home Office guidance. So the Home Office have amended their guidance in, re in respect of um, being able to lift the restriction against getting public funds if you are on a um, limited leave to remain visa route. So basically, if you are in the UK on a family route, not on a work route, but on a human rights route, which is a family or private life or long residence route, human rights route, then you may have been um, refused the right to claim public funds, to apply for public funds. And that restriction will be on your leave to remain document, on your residence card. There are occasions when you can apply to have that restriction lifted, depending on your financial circumstances, and particularly if there are young children involved who would, um, who are at a detriment because you're on a low income. Particularly, you can ask the Home Office to um, lift the restriction against you claiming public funds to enable you to do so. And when you can claim public funds, that also helps with you being able to apply to go on the housing list, because the housing list um, accommodation can be a lot cheaper than if you need to rent privately. So there's many reasons why you may want to apply to have the restriction against public funds lifted. Previously, before this guidance came out, if you did apply to get public funds and you were on a quicker, the five-year route to indefinite leave to remain, then applying for that restriction for public funds meant or used to mean that the Home Office would switch you automatically onto the longer 10-year route to indefinite leave to remain. Because the, the, the requirement or the restriction in regards to public funds means that you are obviously relying on our benefit system. And when you're relying on the benefit system, they will say that you become a burden to the UK taxpayer. And the typical route for somebody who is a burden um, to the UK taxpayer is the 10 year route. So it, it all followed on from that, that basically if you became a burden, if you required public funds, you'd need to be switched on to the 10 year route. I mean, that's a bit harsh. It was a bit harsh. And the government today, um, the Home Office through their guidance, um, have indicated that um, they are no longer going to automatically switch people onto the 10 year route. So that encourages many more families who are struggling who do have young children, who do have the need for public funds, but don't want to be put on that longer 10 year route to indefinite leave to remain. It means that many more families can now apply to get their condition against public funds, against um, applying for public funds lifted, and they will be able to access public funds all the while staying on the five year route. So that's a really good development there. That's some really good news. I mean, the UK Home Office, the UK Secretary of State, she is putting in place some hard um, policies and there are some hard laws being enacted. At the same time, there are some little bursts of, um, or little glimpses of light in some of the policies that they are making, um, particularly for people who are on a lawful route of residence. 
um, and I will always try to keep you updated when new information comes along. So whilst I've been away from the YouTube channel, I have been updating our social media. So please do follow um, our social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and um, TikTok now, we're on TikTok. And that can be found at Clarity Visas as usual. If you want a free case assessment to discuss what I've talked about today or any other UK immigration issue, then you can go onto our website at clarityvisas.com and book a free case assessment. It's been lovely connecting with you again today. I've really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed coming back and don't forget to look at our short, our YouTube shorts as well, because um, lots of delays in the home office. And so it's not always possible for me to come on and, um, and do these videos, but I, I will be keeping you up to date as usual on our social media platforms. So connect with, the, connect with us there. So my name is Rachel Okello. I'm a UK based solicitor specialising in immigration, nationality and deportation law. Have a great day. Bye bye.